Hi guys, Richard here from Sharpshooting UK. I fairly raved about the 34mm Elite Tacticals from Bushnell, um, particularly the bargain DMR that's £840 at Optics Warehouse. 100 minutes, squared away, um, better glass than the Citron S3, which is the class leader under £1,000. Wow, I absolutely loved it. I've always been a fan of the Elites, and I've got some others here to show you. The 30mm Elite Tacticals in first focal plane. I'll show you these now. These are interesting uh, scopes, if a little specific uh, in the UK. Not so many people using first focal plane in low mag over here, but I think there's distinct reasons why it's a good idea. And all right, chest long range. Hunter series, I believe it is. Um, 30 mil, nice and compact, but the first focal plane. There's a three to 12 and a four and a half to 18. And I think that they have done brilliant things with the turrets while keeping things nice and compact. Let me show you. What you've got, and Bushton have always done this well, you've got a semi-tactical and yet totally capable turret. So without this thing being a foot high, you've got really good clicks, tenth of a mil. And you've got fully 10 mils, 30 plus minutes per turn. Super quick to reset, super consistent. That is a really good turret. A lot of folks could learn from Bushnell when it comes to turrets, and yet you've got a capped windage. But when you take that cap off, a proper little turret. Now why can't Swarovski and Zeiss do this? Although Swarovski have just got their act together with the X5 in a big way with the turrets. But, you know, on lightweight hunting rifles, these are not unreasonable turrets. I think they're bloody marvellous, and look how quick they are to reset. Out, back on. Back to zero. I can't do it one-handed. Uh, I'm going to push the rifle over. There you go. Just wonderful. And again, marked both ways. Good size. Five minute, five whole mil um, each way. Just brilliant. So, and then of course you've got your side focus in the normal way. You've got the uh, trademark Bushnell stuff, which is extreme toughness um, but but uh, apart from that optically you're talking about ultra wide band coatings which i really do believe in and uh rain guard hd which again i i just think is a uh, a real plus a real useful feature in the real world you can have all the glass you want soak it with a bit of water and you know ruined whereas this rain guard it just works I, i'm a big fan of it especially shooting uh, around here so yeah um what you get with the elite glass is you get a really classic mix of brightness and contrast they've always done it well they are bright as hell these elites they really are against anything they're bright uh, and yet they 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 hold their contrast they're good at dusk you know this is this is cracking glass not alpha glass you know not by a long way you know we're, we're talking here about you know um me medium range scopes and uh, with prices to match and uh, and and they do well in their class um Unlike the 34 mil uh, Bushnell Elite series, which really do n knock on the door of the of the of the big boy glass. Eye boxes are great, top and bottom. Uh, you know, as I've always said with elites, you can buy an elite and you will hit the ground running both with regard to your optics and your functions. You are never going to be far off the pace if you buy an elite blindly. Um, what I like about these models is the first vocal plane matched to the very clever RET with flawless turrets. There's nothing that you can't do with these and yet they're, they're you know, they're reasonably uh, compact. I mean, look at them here on these fine rifles. This is a, a Marlin. I don't even like putting a scope on a Marlin. That looks fine. And this, again, it's a little high perhaps, but this is on a uh, classic old CZ w WMR Auto. Um, these scopes are a brilliant uh, stab at 
long range hunting you know the hunting scopes but long range i think that uh that they've done well here this is really well thought out they're a little bit more money than your normal scopes in this category but you're getting some absolutely killer features i really like these things pleasingly these are available in moa or mill with the ret perfectly matching the ret reminds me of the g2 used in the um DMR and ERS, the 34mm Bushnell Tacticals, which I'm a big fan of because where you've got your markings, your hashes, they're staggered left and right to help you make calls uh, when you're, when you're um, lobbing into the space between hashes. There's also a kind of a kill ring, a circular kill ring, um, which I suppose I was a little off put by when I looked at it on the internet, but in the flesh it makes a lot of sense and it draws your eye to the center of the ret, it doesn't get in the way. I, they put a lot of thought into this as a hunting scope, uh, both in minutes and mil. and their first focal plane. So whatever your mag, when you uh, miss or are trying to judge, you can trust that the ret is always going to be true to the markings marked on it. I also urge anyone who hasn't given FFP a crack to give it some serious thought. It is a flat out better system for the art of corrections, uh, the, the fundamental art of making corrections to your, to your shooting through data, um, uh, data found from the previous shot. You miss, you look where you missed on the ret and you can correct, you can read it off. I'm one and a half mil left, I'm two minutes right, whatever, there it is. And then you can click that straight onto your turrets. And indeed, if you're spotting for a friend as a sort of a sniper duo, which frankly is, is how it works at, at longer range, um, he can call with his first focal plane, whatever mag either of you are on, right, you need three, three minutes, you need one minute, you need one click. All of that is accurate all of the time. And there are no downsides as far as I can see. Yes, the first focal plane rets are small and thin at low mag and yes they are thicker at high mag and that sounds concerning given that a second focal plane ret is constant at all times but the fact of the matter is that it just isn't a problem in the real world with the minor exception of maybe shooting you know thousand yard you know quarter minute targets and needing ultra ultra fine stuff but in in the normal world for normal people I would encourage you to think hard about the LRHS series in first focal plane. They make a lot of sense when you're actually using them. You can use these to make proper marksmanship decisions quickly and smoothly and then input them on the excellent turrets using the excellent glass. You know, I think some of the, um, the premium scope makers could learn a lot um, by what um, Bushnell have done here.